Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your single weight circuit workout. So this is a full body workout for strength and cardio, where we will use one dumbbell or one kettlebell or both. And if you have both, we will alternate between our rounds. If you only have one, just use what you've got. As always, I will give you different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. Don't forget to subscribe so I can keep making free workouts for you here on YouTube and we can grow our body fit community. All you need for this workout are your weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start with just a little march or a jog, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna roll those shoulders to the back and to the front, we're gonna get a quick dynamic warm up that will be movement prep through these exercises that we're going to do. But as always, get more of a warm up or a cool down if you need more on your own. Big deep breath in. You can check out my extended warm up or my extended cool down videos if you need a little bit extra. And one more. And just open it out here. And let's just lean side to side. So single weight circuits. So we're gonna be working in some circuits using a, just one weight. We will go 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. Big stretch here. Most of what we will do will be right side to left side. So we will have both. And we're gonna go through everything once using one dumbbell, round it up. And then if you have it, switch to one kettlebell. We're gonna get some swings in between as well. Hold it here, roll those shoulders. So I'll be talking you through it and keeping you moving the whole time. But as always, I want you to work to your level, be where you are today, walk your feet in, round it up. Remembering that if you showed up today, you are successful and that is all that matters. We just gotta show up and keep moving. So don't worry about staying with me in terms of pace or weight. You do you. Be challenged, push yourself, but in a way that works for you. Big stretch over. So again, some quick circuits where we're gonna add on. So everything will be what we call a compound movement. Let's bring those hamstrings up. Where we're getting multiple things working at once, but we'll always start with a base level and you can just do that move, right? We're gonna group moves two or three at a time, and I'll give you about a minute in between where I will show you the next move, or the next set of moves, I should say, so you'll know what to expect, and then we will get right into it. A few little variations between our kettlebell and our dumbbell, and again, if you only have one, just use what you've got. If you only have a dumbbell, use a dumbbell. If you only have a kettlebell, use a kettlebell. Stretch it out and then step touch, side to side, big arms, pull, push and pull. I'm gonna tie my shoes while you keep doing that. These shoelaces are really long. So, I'm gonna show you our first two moves that will go right side and left side. You keep moving with that step touch so you can keep your heart rate up. If you want even a little more, you can make it a little bit of a jump. Watch me here. So one dumbbell, I'm gonna go with my 10 pound dumbbell, but you use what's best for you. We're gonna start with a side lunge, crossing into that side lunge. Then we're gonna add a curl to it pretty quickly. Then we're gonna add a press. If that press feels like too much, you can take it between two hands if you need to, or if any of this feels like too much, take it between two hands. We'll get that side, then we'll get this side. <sighs> Adding on with that press all the way through. So we're building it. Our second move of the circuit, two options. You can stay with just the first part of it, which would be a lunge and a row. You can just stay right here, or after one lunge and row, step it back, plank and row, step it in, lunge and row. We're gonna stay low the whole Time. All right, so stick with me. I'm gonna give you options. Go ahead, put that dumbbell in one hand, side lunge. Here we go, 45, down and up. So this is gonna be a muscle endurance workout. We're going for strength as well. Good, let's add our curl. Again, 
cross it over, push out, get that upper body. If it's too heavy, two hands, bring it up. Let's add our press right here. So side lunge, curl, press, little rotate. Side lunge, curl, press. Keep it going, down, up. Remember, 45 seconds, so five to go. Can you get one more? Yes, relax, have it out. Same thing, other side, starting with that side lunge, adding the curl, adding the press. So you can see, we put them together. It's a lot for your body to go through, but we're building it. Here we go. And because it's a lot, it takes our brain off of the pain, right? <laughs> so we're thinking about the move, add the curl, rather than it being tough, right? Low to high, all the way through that motion, power it up, yes, and breathe. Good, add your press. Down, curl, press. Side, curl, press. Zip up that core. Good core engagement. Can we get one more? Yes. And relax. Good. Turn to that other side. Switch that hand again. So remember, guys, you have the option to stay in the lunge and just do the row, or one lunge, one row from the lunge, one row from the plank. Here we go. So here, take it down. Take it here. Same leg goes in and up. Back, up, right, ah! Balance, so you're staying low. If the plank is not appropriate for you, if you're when my prenatal or early postpartum or healing a diastasis recti or anybody else who needs to modify, just stay with the row. I want you to stay low with it, but you're just here to here. That works. Take it down, breathe, take it up. Maybe a little easier to take it here. Yes, one more. Whoo, that was fun, right? Shake out that leg, shake out the back, and see, we're building that cardio in as well. Switch it to that other side, just the lunge and the row, or lunge and row, plank and row. Here we go, up. So other leg is stepping back, stepping forward. So pretty much that leg on the side of the row is staying in place. If you need to move it a little bit, you can, but stay low with it. And again, totally fine just to stay with the row. You'll still get that leg working, right? Core will still be engaged. Breathe. And back. Yes. Good, 10 to go, stay zipped. Lift it in the core either way. Back, yes. Last one, and relax. Good work, team. Grab a sip of water if you need it. I'm gonna talk you through your next circuit. A little cardio mobility to stretch that out through our arms. Side lunge, reach, up and out. You can get a little hop step with it or just keep it low impact up to you. Watch me. We are gonna take it, three moves here. So we're alternating with our snatch or a high pull to press. High pull, up, alternating, or all the way through, right? That's your snatch. You're pulling it close to your body all the way up. It's an advanced move. So if you need to stay with the high pull, we'll start with that. Then we're gonna take it down one side, chest press with either the bridge or with the one-sided bicycle, right? And then we're gonna bring it up to a clean and a squat, right? Or a curl. Go ahead and grab your weight, zip up in that core, alternating, here we go. So it's a high pull, Press, high pull, press, so you're still getting the core, you're still getting a little bit of that pull up, or if you can, close to your body, 
and down. So that snatch is a pull through your body, right? Curl it up, just here to here. Hips get involved to give you that momentum, but again, you can keep it pull and press because it is an advanced move. So be where you are today. Yes. And relax. All right, let's take it down. So now we're back to alternating one side at a time. If you need to modify, I want you just to take it with the bridge. That core is gonna be engaged just by being offset. If you can, extend it out. Here we go. And down. So one side, keep this leg parallel tabletop, even out a little bit so you can feel that other side. Breathe, lift and lower. Core is engaged, but we're bringing everything together. So the weight towards the knee, so pull that core in. Again, modification is just your bridge, one side. The weight only being on one side is gonna pull us a little bit, so our core has to stay engaged. So don't feel like you have to have that bicycle if that's not right for you. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath right where you are. Same thing other side with the bridge. One-sided press, keep it from pulling you to the side or with that opposite leg. Start it out, here we go. Everything in and down, and down. Or again, with the bridge, either way. Bring everything together in the core. Think about closing the core, hips together, ribs together, and everything navel to spine. Again, that one arm is gonna get tired, but you can do it. Think about core engagement, helping you with that movement. And down, yes. 10 seconds to go. Use that opposite hand to keep you stable, because again, here's what's happening. That weight is pulling you this way, so use the deep core to keep you grounded. Three, two, one. Relax, bring it up, guys. All right, so let's take it with our, our clean, which again can be a curl and a squat, or it's a clean. So watch me, join me. Curl, squat low, and down. Curl, squat low, or take it, it's a clean. Similar to the snatch, you're getting your hips to the back. It's a little different with your one dumbbell as opposed to two when we go, right? Good, but just your curl is fine too. I know. Good, five seconds. Yes. And relax, good. So trying to get low into that squat. Other side, curl it, drop it down. Breathe, zip up in that core, curl and squat or clean and squat. Here we go. Curl, squat. You can even have this hand out. Curl, yes. Or here, you can make it fluid just like I did. Or get into it from the power from that clean. Use it to drive that momentum down and power it up. So again, as you can tell, everything we're doing today on one side, that single weight is getting our core engaged even more, right? Because we have to resist the pull to the side of that weight, right? Last one right here. Yes, and relax. All right, let's go ahead and take it right down to our knees. We're gonna jump right in. This is a little bonus core. On your knees here, or all the way up, we're gonna take that weight out to the side. Here we go. Reach under, take it other side. Reach under, take it other side. If you can, here to here, right? Breathe, 
core engaged. So think reaching across your body and pull it through, not here to here, but reach under so we get that little rotation. Again, modifications stay on your knees, but keep the core engaged, right? So you are almost there. 10 seconds, breathe. Yes, last one, stretch it out. Awesome job, guys. All right, let's take it to a swing. We got one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Let's take it to a one-sided. If that's too much for you or you've never done it before, I want you to do a two-handed swing or just take it with your deadlift, right? One at a time, all right? So one-sided swing, we're gonna go 20 seconds each side. Zip up that core, here we go, power it back. Again, having the hand out just gives you a little bit of balance, right? Breathe, up, get that power, 10 to go. Too much, take it to the deadlift. Three, two, one. Relax, let it swing, little pedal. Get ready for that other side. Zip up in that core, Whew. breathe, shoulders back, prep it, hike it. Here we go, 20. Good. Everything looks the same as your two-handed swing, driving the hips back, locking out at the top, core's engaged, squeezing the glutes and hamstrings, we're just one side, four, three, two, one, and relax. Pedal your feet, yes. Whew. Good work, team. All right, grab a quick sip of water. Whew. All right, can we do it all again with our kettlebell? I told you we're gonna keep it short. So, little bit of mobility, let's do a lunge, big reach. So cardio mobility while I talk you through your next move. So stay here, get that big stretch up and drop the hip either way. You can get low, you can keep it high, but you're just here, big reach, here, big reach to keep the heart rate up and get a little mobility work while I talk you through it. All right guys, so you know what to expect. Let's go through them all right now. Side lunge, then we add the curl. So it's a little bit of a clean, with our kettlebell, here to here to here, right? Or keep it between two hands, curl it up, press for two. If you've just got a heavier kettlebell, totally fine to take it to two hands. I know it's a little different than the dumbbell, right? And then left. Then we got our row, same thing, guys. Here's the difference. We're gonna take it to a bear plank, right? So we're here to here. So it's a close lunge, close bear plank. Again, if you need to modify, keep it up. Then we'll get a little breather. We'll take it to our snatch. I'll give you options because it's different with the kettlebell. Then we take it to our one-handed press with the bicycle. Then our clean to squat. Then we get some core. It's gonna be over fast. Go ahead and grab that weight, guys. If you got the kettlebell, switch to your kettlebell. Otherwise, stay where you are. Ready, here we go, 45. Sit deep. Press up, sit deep, press up, zip up in the core, get ready. We're adding a curl, but it's a little bit of a clean, right? So we're here, bring it up here. If that feels weird for you, you can also take it here or two hands, remember? Add that press, up, down, up, yes, down, up, yes, the press is the hard one, right? Good, breathe, relax, all right, same thing, other side, let's focus on staying low in our side lunges, then when we get that curl, whether it's a clean or a curl here, get some power and then rotate, here we go, just your side lunge, push out of it, yes. Side lunge, push out, Whew. breathe, and up. Add the curl or the clean here. 
take it here and up or here. Yes, add your press. So it can look like this here, up or here, up or two hands. Yes, one more all the way through. One more side lunge. Yes, relax. All right, guys, turn it to that other side. We're gonna keep those legs working. So row from a lunge, row from a bear plank. So on all fours or just your row from the lunge. Ready, keep it close, here we go. So here to here. Same leg moving forward, up to here. Or just keep it here. Stay low in the lunge. Get that back working, squeeze in the shoulder blades, right? Keep it going. Up, core's engaged. Try to keep those knees off the ground. I know it's a little bit tricky to move in between the two, but you can do it. How's that leg feel? Yes. And breathe. Five seconds. Can you get one more of each? Relax. Ah, good. Take it to the other side. Same thing. Row from the lunge, squeeze in the back and the shoulders. Row from the plank, keep the core engaged. Here we go. 45. Back. Up. And up. And back core. Make sure you give yourself a second to get set up in the lunge before you do the row. Get set up in the bear plank. I know legs are burning, right? Again, if you need to modify, just stay up with that row, but stay low in the lunge if you're doing it. Right? Here we go, 15. Breathe. The regular plank give your leg, gives your legs a little bit of a stretch, right? But the bear plank keeps them working. Whoo! Last one. Relax. Ah, good work, team. Let's do this. Let's switch it up. Let's go ahead and get our snatch. Watch me here. Here. Join me. 45. Down. Up. Down. If you want, you can keep it with your dumbbell or high pull. Remember that high pull press or here, toss up. Here, toss up or one side and down. And down, right? So that's your snatch. Power up and through. You got it. One more each side if you got it. And down. And down. Relax. Now let's grab a sip of water. We should have done that on the first round to get one more in. Catch your breath, all right? Cardio mobility. Let's take it side. A little skater. Breathe with big arms to stretch it out. You can do a little more of a hop if you want. No weights, stretch it out or take a real breather. Watch me guys, we're gonna start on the mat. All right, so we got this. We know what we're doing, right? You're either press and bridge. It's gonna feel a little heavier, a little different, but you can do it. Whew. Breathe or you're gonna go here to here, right? and breathe. Whew. We'll get each side with that. Then we're gonna bring it up. Let's do a plie this time. Whew. Clean, squat, and up. If you want, just do a curl or a curl here and plie, all right? Then we got our plank drag through. Whew. Go ahead and grab that weight. Whew. Bring it down with me. Ready, 45 seconds, lift and lower. So it's your chest press either with the bridge, core is engaged either way, or feet in tabletop. Extend that leg out, bring everything in together. 
So feel how with the feet up, the weight pulls you to that side. So that's when we really stabilize right here, right? Everything is in. Knee and weight are coming together. Close the core, right? 15 seconds. Woo! That was a bad angle. <sighs> Gotta make sure we don't grab from that angle super fast. <sighs> Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Stretch it out. Same thing, other side. You can modify with the bridge. Again, especially if you're in my pre post DR crowd, you might need to. Otherwise, let's take it here. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Stabilize in the center. Feel how that weight is pulling you and you wanna keep it grounded right through here. Check in with that core. Everything's looking down. Modify with the bridge, but know that core is still engaged. Keep breathing, keep lifting. Tabletop, close the core. Zip it up. Yes, good. This one-armed press is really underrated. We should do it more even in our two weight workouts, right? Ah, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, whoo, bring it up guys. All right, plie squat. Clean it with a curl or curl it. Ready, one side. Here we go, 45. Down, plie. Down, I know that's a lot that's different, so totally fine to do a curl and plie, or if that feels too weird, curl together and plie. Any of those options will do. Our cleans and our snatches are tough exercises anyway, but especially with that kettlebell because there's a little bit of getting that wrist that you have to get used to. So if you've got to have your kettlebell, you may just want to do the curl. Breathe, or just the squat, that works too. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, same thing, other side. Clean it, plie, or curl it with one or two. Zip it up, so close. Are we ready? Here we go. Down, plie, sit low. Clean or curl, same set of muscles. Curl can look like this, catch it. This is a great option because you still get those hips involved, right? Or this, down, up. Yes, down, up. Keep it going. 15 seconds, sit low to high. Yes, breathe. Five to go, whatever you got. Three, two, one, relax. All right guys, down into that plank. All right, so this time you're gonna lay it down. You're gonna drag it this way. So start here, drag it this way. Knees or toes, bring it up. Here we go, pull it, drag it. If that doesn't work for your floor, whatever you're on, just pick it up. That works too. Pick it up. Just stay with those shoulders right over the elbows, right over the wrist, so we're not out here, right? That makes it tougher, I promise. Here, pick up or drag it. You can feel that drag. You're gonna feel that pull a little bit more in that core. So whatever works for you, keep it going. Ha! Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. How about a swing, guys? One side for each, 20 seconds. You can probably go heavier on this, but again, drive it back with that kettlebell. We're gonna turn that palm in just a bit, pinky up, zip up in the core. If you need to modify, two-handed swing is great, or just your deadlift. Are we ready? 20 seconds, power it back. Up, 
Yes, breathe, zip it up, drive it up. I think I could have gone heavier, but whew, that's okay. I'm gonna make the most of this. Breathe. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, pedal your feet. Ooh, get ready. Same thing, other side. Zip up that core, shoulders back. Hike it. Three, two, power. 20 seconds. Yes, core. Hand can be here if you need it. Power it up. Good. Squeeze in the glutes. Lock out in the core. Three, two, one. And relax, pedal your feet. Woo. And breathe. Good, guys. All right. Take it down on your mat. Woo. You can have dumbbell or kettlebell for this. A little bonus core for a little bonus move. So, one leg here, here on your knees, alternating here, here, or all the way up. If that's too heavy for you, just do the row and a little rotate without the press. If you only have a kettlebell, just do what you can, which is probably just the row or just body weight. Here we go, guys. Knees if you need to modify, up on the toes if you can. Here we go. So up, up, down, and down. Let's get some obliques. If you're modifying here, open through your hips, right? But stay, stay on the knees. Or again, you can just be here, especially if you're just using your kettlebell. Core and up, yes. And breathe. 15 seconds, make it good. Yes. Five, four, three, two, let's get one more. Ah, good, relax, I completely forgot to do the press once I started modifying, that's okay. All right guys, how about one last swing? That's our bonus move and then we are done for the day. So dumbbell or kettlebell, get the heaviest you got. If you can do it, because we're gonna go two-handed swing, either with one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Whatever you got, guys, let's make it good. <sighs> Roll those shoulders back. Stay with me. Hike it. Three, two, deadlift if you need to modify. Power it up. <sighs> Last thing, get some power. Engage in the core. We're not arching our back at the top. We wanna come straight up, so think hinge to plank. Hinge to plank. Yes, you got this last move of the day. You worked so hard. You are so strong. Remind yourself that. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax, pedal those feet. Good work, team. Woo. Catch your breath. You did it. Ah. Right, roll through. Little taps, yes. How do you feel? Grab some water. I know, it moves fast, but it moves fast, right? Zip up is a cue that we use all the time, but it does not mean holding your breath. I know I remind you guys of that, but I noticed myself at the end doing it. So you're not holding your breath, you're pulling everything in. Stretch those arms out. Breathe. Ha, ah, one foot forward, hips back. I hope you feel strong. I hope you feel energized, no matter what that looks like for you. Even if you took more breaks or use lighter weight or heavier weight, as long as you were here and you were moving safely and effectively, that is all that matters. So thank you for showing up and moving with me. As a reminder, please get more of a cool down on your own. I have lots of active recovery 
videos, stretching videos, as well as an extended cool down. It's about an extra 10 minutes of more stretching if you can do it. So that might feel really good after today. You worked hard. <sighs> feel good about that, feel proud. If it felt hard, that's because you were working hard. <sighs> if it felt easy, it's because you're strong and fit, but you may need to go heavier with your weights, right? <laughs> Little lean back here. Ooh, stretch back, grab behind if you can. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so I can keep making completely free workouts for you here on the YouTube channel. And of course, click the links in the description below. Find out about my BodyFit Athletic Club. If you are looking for a little more support and accountability, make sure you check that out. You get weekly and monthly workout challenges with clickable workout calendars, a nutrition guide, we have live Q and A's. We cover hot topics every week in nutrition and fitness, and you get direct support from myself and from Vivian, our body fit dietitian. So check that out below. And of course, you can click the link to check out what's on my website, eBooks, e programs, nutrition guide, as well as whew, some body fit gear. Slowly roll it up. Big deep breath in. Thank you for showing up and moving with me today. You did it. That was your single weight circuit workout. Great job, everybody.